Bam! It's Justin coming at you from Orion Lending with a personal video on how to be the best AE that you can possibly be and what I feel like are the building blocks to being that if you're an AE, especially in the mortgage business. And so today I'm going to come at you firing bit, 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 and hopefully you can take those and put them in your tool belt and uh, we can all get better. I mean, I get better with these requests because I have to do some soul searching. You know, it's just like digging in and finding out what it is that makes me tick. And so, as many of you know, I do a lot of videos on little nuances, cracks in the guidelines and stuff like that. And so first and foremost, for an AE to be successful, you have to know the guidelines that your company is working with. Now, at Orion Lending, we're not really the overlay lender, so I don't have an overlay sheet. Some of you might, some of you may. I would know those guidelines. I would know the guidelines for the programs that you have posted and know what is an overlay and what is not. That's probably number one thing that I can tell you that separates me from a lot of AEs when they call. Typically, I know what it is that I am talking about. And if I don't, I know how to access it really quickly. Number two, I would market yourself every day. As a busy AE gets that pipeline churning, you're dealing with, you know, 50 million way more in a lot of situations what do you need to do you have to market every day whatever it is whether you're going to send out an email two emails follow-up emails phone calls whatever it is market yourself every day regardless of how busy you think that you are now the third one's probably the most important thing for me that separates me from a lot of you. And that's getting involved seriously in problem files. If I fund 100 loans, I can tell you I know the names of 10 of them. And those are the ones that I'm heavily, heavily involved in. Be the person that sits in front of the fan before the crap hits it. Don't let it hit your LO in the face. Stand up, fight for your loans, and do it with professionalism. It's really 3B that I come to you with this. Treat your inside staff as you would want to be treated. If you want to get stuff done, know how to talk to the people that you're working with. Don't bark orders. Ask them to come out with their mind on what they're thinking and see if you guys can come to an agreement. See if you can come to an agreement. There's three things that I always do. I do scenarios, I push rushes, and I battle and put the armor on with any problem files. Those are the three main things that I do. Outside of that, focus on what your company's strengths are. At Orion Lending, I know what we do well, and that's typically what I present. I don't focus on the things that we do not do so well, especially when it might come to pricing. I know where we're priced out well, I know where we're not. It's historically been the same game. And the last thing I'm gonna tell you, know your competition. Know who it is that you're working with. You know, like for me, a full non-QM lender, bank statement lender is not my competition. I don't even do those loans. But you want to know who does what so when your LO asks you and get some feedback from your brokers, right? That's an opportunity to ask an open-ended question. Hey, who's doing bank statement loans and doing them well priced out in the market? Get some of that from some of your top brokers. So you can tell the LOs when they ask you where to look. But know your competition, what they're doing. You guys asked for an AE video. Those are the things that make me tick. And anyway, thank you guys so much. Tell everybody about uh, what you saw here today and have a nice day.